There are reports that Elon Musk has already had a chip implanted in the human brain in the USA. What do you think of that? Well, I think there's no stopping Elon Musk. He will do as he sees fit. <laughs> Nevertheless, you need to find some common ground with him, search for ways to persuade him. I think he's a smart person, I truly believe he is. So you need to reach an agreement with him because this process needs to be formalized and subjected to certain rules. <clears throat> shalom, shalom, all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Uruel. And I want to make a quick one through the spirit. Um, as you can see, this is the interview that Tucker Carlson had with Putin. And he asked him about the chip, you know, because uh, Elon Musk has already uh tested his chip in a human so looking for that brothers let me go there real quick all right and um and uh as you can see he was saying um you know that this uh the chip is going to be formalized you're gonna have to come with agreement with it in other words, see, Putin, he's going to go into it too. Just because Babylon the Great, you know, is the one that's going to go to war with them, they're going to push the uh, Karagma as well. All right? Because he's being controlled as well by the elites, all right? Everything's being controlled. The Heavenly Father is controlling the elites. The elites are controlling these presidents. And as you see, uh, the Karagma will be formalized. You're going to have to, as he said, you know, you're going to have to come with agreement with Elon Musk. You know, in other words, they're using him as a lesser luminary. This is all about to happen. And because. All right. And as you can see, five key com moments, five key moments. For, and I watched this whole interview. It was a good interview to examine through the spirit. And he was out there open. He said he said a lot of things, you know, within you brothers that's in the spirit. You know, this thing is going down. This so process needs happen. to so be listen. formalized and subjected to certain rules. One of uh, our senior United States senators from the state of New York, Chuck Schumer, said yesterday, I believe, that we have to continue to fund the Ukrainian effort or U.S. soldier citizens could wind up fighting there. How do you assess that? Well, if somebody has the desire to send regular troops, that would certainly bring humanity to the brink of very serious global conflict. In other words, you threaten us, you know, that's going to, that's going to create a, a, a chaos. That's going to, like he said, a, a bring humanity to a brink of what? Of destruction. And now we have NATO troops planning to go into Ukraine soil. All right, remember, they nev they have not done this. You only have mercenaries from NATO, American mercenaries, you know, in Ukraine soil, but now they're going to have NATO troops in there. That's a declaration of war because you're in the border of Russia, Poland and Finland, Crimea and all of this. So that's what he's saying right there. Look, World War Three is inevitable. All right, it's inevitable. Let me go here real quick. Uh, so the scriptures we're gonna constantly go to because this is where we living at. We are living in this time. Revelation eleven fourteen. All right, the second war was passed, and behold, the third war cometh quickly. All right, this is the time we're living in because what the Lord said he, to the prophet Ezekiel, and this was thousands of years ago all right to the prophet ezekiel man and we're getting closer to the fulfillment of this prophecy and the word of the lord yahweh came unto me saying son of man set thy face against god the land of magog the chief prince of meshuk and tubal and prophesy against him and say thus said the lord yahweh behold i am against thee O god 
the chief prince of Meshach and Tuba, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, man. That's what the Lord is going to do. Verse 10. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. America has a problem, a border problem. All right, there's an invasion going on, man. So we're going to have class wars, civil wars, race wars. You already see violence with the migrants and the and the civilians here in America already. All right? And I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely. That's how you uh, people think everything's going to be okay. You know? We we live in America. We in, we we you know, that's the illusion that this devil has given you people, man. You're out here wicked, working and eating and partying and murfing it up. And suddenly, sudden destruction. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. All of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates, man. Homeland security is out of here. To take a spoil and to take a prey. To turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited. Upon and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land, man. All right, so Lord gonna bring that the ruckus, man, through the spirit. All right, stat Isaiah 14. Let's go right to the point. Let me see, I'm come down a little bit. All right, mm. let's go right. Uh, we go make sure everything the purpose of the purpose of the Lord that purpose. All right. 13. All right. Bear with me, brothers. I'm just going to look for it. Here we go. Babylon will fall to the Medes. All right. All right. The Persian. Now we know in the ancient world, you know, the Persian and Medes did conquer Babylon, but it was a surgical strike. All right, this is a dark saying of Babylon the Great. All right, will fall to who? Gog, Magog. All right. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to peace, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon... The glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, these excellencies shall be as when the Most High Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? All right. They were obliterated through fire from the heavens. All right. The chariots came and the angels destroyed it with fire utterly. Babylon the Great, the ancient Babylon didn't fall like that. All right? So this is this is a, a dark saying of America. And it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. All right? Because this place is going to be a, a, a big desert. A, 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 the forbidden zone, man. The forbidden zone. You watch Planet of the Apes. It was the forbidden zone, man. All right. So. This is obvious. Look at his face. Do the United States need this? <laughs> yeah, boy. This this is a whole different type of devil right here. But this is the Lord. Y'all about to me outside. I'm not going to look at all of it, but um, you get it, brothers. Hey, call all y'all about Shimei Shai. Oh, well, you are edified. Shalom.